this episode of Pin the Q Podcast, we're at the Training Academy. Today's our first practical day. Uh, this is our first group. They're uh, demonstrating the proper use of the combination nozzle, a uh, straight stream, a partial fog, and a full fog, and some simple hose, hose advancements. So what we have going on at this uh, station is they're uh, getting assessed on their ability to place ground ladders correctly given a specific task. So what's happening is each of the recruits is being given a specific job to do on the fire ground. Uh, they're required to select the proper ground ladder, properly set it up in a way to be able to go about affecting that job and then um, being able to break it down and put it back into service. Uh, set up for a window rescue, guys. Yeah. So we're gonna have our recruits set up for a window rescue. Um, we're just gonna make sure they go through all the right steps and uh, processes to get the ladder up. Kind of raise you doing? Flat raise. All right. Start walking that up with your hand. Yeah, there you go. Right, you don't have to raise it. Tell you it's tight, good. Yeah. There. Right. I have to move it out a little bit. Angle's a little steep. You got the ladder? Got the ladder. Got the ladder. You think that's a little too low for the uh, oh, sill there? You have to be just below the sill, remember. Right. Makes your angle a little better too, right? Yeah. Coming down.
We're back at Pindu Q Podcast and we're at the Ocean County Fire Academy Training Center for a spring 2019 class. Before me, I have firefighters that are here in this class and we're going to talk to them. This is different. Normally we speak to chiefs, chief officers, and firefighters, but today we're going to speak to some recruits. The academy is gracious enough to have us here, which was a great opportunity so we can do this. So first and foremost, you're from? Beachwood. Beachwood, New Jersey, the Fighting 16th, and your name is? Alyssa Fleming. Alyssa, welcome. You are? Stafford Township. Stafford Township, and your name? Mackenzie Michael. Mackenzie, and you are from? Stafford. Stafford, Stafford, Fighting 47th. And Emily Jansen. What is it? Emily Jansen. Emily, and last but and not least. I'm from Weartown, and my name is Andrea Munn. Well, welcome. Welcome to the Academy. So, first, what are your experiences so far here at the Academy? What do you think? I mean, is it was it what you thought when you came in here, or was it or was it not what you thought? Not what I thought. Not what you thought. Elaborate. Um, Were you nervous? I was very nervous. You're nervous, <laughs> right? So you you got what about four months in? About. Okay. So where are you at now? How do you feel confidence-wise? I have a problem with showing that I'm I know what I'm doing. Okay. So I need to work on that, but I do. But that will come. Yeah, but I do think it's going good. Do you feel like you progress a little bit? Yeah. Did, what about the physical part of this job? Did you expect it to be the way it is, or would you feel like you were pretty conditioned for this? I knew it was going to be very physically taxing, Right. but I still have to work on some. Now, do you have any firefighter family, or is it your first generation? I have. My dad was a, is a fireman. Okay. Um, his cousin was a, a fireman. She was chief. Okay. And then her father. It's about Heidi Michael? Yes. Oh, she's the best. <laughs> she's the best. All right, good. And then my dad's grandfather was a fireman. Okay, so it's pretty pretty cool to say that you, you have a family history of this. Yeah. Like, so you are almost kicked into this, right? <laughs> You're punted in? Well, good, good. What about you? What's your experience so far in the academy? Oh, it's amazing. It's yeah? not what I thought it would be. I thought I would never be able to do any of the physical things because I'm not strong enough because I'm a girl, but a lot of the other students in the academy have helped me along with it, and everything's a team teamwork building. So that do, you, do you feel like you have a, a bond now with the people you started Most the academy definitely. with? Yes. So when you first got here and everybody was together, what was it like? Was it a little intimidating, or did you feel comfortable from the beginning? It was intimidating. So, but we've grown to know each other a lot, so Good. that helps. And what's your favorite part of the Academy so far? If you had to pick know. one thing, what was your favorite experience so far? Saturdays, hot days. The hot days. Physical. Doing this stuff, yeah. right? The classroom stuff, not so much, but this is, this is where yeah. it's at, right? Mm -hmm. And what about you? What's your what most rewarding part of the Academy so far? Uh, I think the fact that you walk out with family. Yes. You know, these guys are, these are my sisters, but yep. got some brothers out there too. So. That, that's like the best answer, okay? Yeah. That, that is great because really that's what this, I mean, anybody who watches my show knows that that's what my show is about. It's mm -hmm. about family, tradition, honor, respect, and, and uh, you're seeing that already now coming in, which is really good. I mean, you already have your eyes on that, and that's, that's huge. I think that's something that actually is, speaks very highly about your, your position here, which is good. When you first got here and you... And they were telling you, look, this is what this is about, this is what we're going to do. I know you're from Beachwood, mm -hmm. correct? Okay, so I know Beachwood very well, and I know Chief Hall uh, wasn't going to let you come here unprepared. Right. So uh, tell me what that was like when you first got here. Did you feel like you were prepared, or how did you feel? You know? uh, I felt very prepared, actually. Mm -hmm. You know, I, uh, you know, like I said, the chiefs, the captains, even just the regular firefighters. Here's what's going on, here's what class, even before any class now, I'm right. getting messages going, this is what you need to know, this is what to expect. Don't sweat this, don't sweat that. And they're constantly, sports is 100%. So do you feel like that is really what helped you or in oh, helping you? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And what's your favorite part of the academy so far? Hot days. Hot days, right? Hot I, days. I, I, that looks like it's a common theme. Absolutely. Here, right? What about you? What's your favorite part so far? My favorite part is definitely the hot days. Okay. I mean, you get to spend the whole day with everybody, and um, it's a really good time, and you work together, and it's all about team building, and it's just, it's really good. And what made you become a firefighter? Um, my husband is a firefighter. Oh, where at? Out uh, Weartown. Okay. And um, and um, I just wanted to volunteer and help the community, and that's what I want to do. So you have a pretty good perspective then. So you, your yes. husband's doing this already. Yep. And then how long has he been a firefighter? Uh, two years. Two years, okay. Yeah. So for two years you've been watching this? Yes. So at what point was it to, like, you know, I think I can do this? Um, it was just... 
I wanted to get in before my daughter. That's all. Oh wow! Yeah. So, so your daughter's gonna be coming on too. She's next. So, oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. So it's a family family honor. That's it's awesome. It's gonna be exciting. So we all have something to talk about. Yeah, I guess you do. Yeah. The the struggle is gonna be to, you know who's gonna stay back. And who's right. going to go? Yeah, right? who's going to go, right? Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> so was this ex what you expected? Um, yes, it was it what I expected. I've been to the fire grounds a lot, and I've seen, I've seen the past classes and everything, and I knew what to expect. But I have everybody helping me, too, in my group, and we all help each other, which that's what it's about. Is there a, is there a certain bond that the four you girls have together, or do you really feel like it's just overwhelmingly good for all the way around? Is there a special bond you have together, would you say? Yes and no. Okay. I feel like just because we are girls, we do have like just an automatic bond. Right. But all the other guys are really accepting and we all just, sort of, yeah, mm -hmm. we bond well together. That's great. Mm -hmm. And what I'll tell you was um, immediately when we got here and we started to look around and start filming, um, the Academy said, hey, these four girls are rocking it, killing it. You guys are doing an awesome job. So, Obviously, whatever you're doing, you're doing right, and you, you know you're going to be set for a perfect path when you graduate the academy, which I'm excited to see. Um, you know, you don't know me, but I'm also a firefighter. I, I have been for 26 years, so I get it. I've been in your shoes. I understand it. I went to the academy here at Ocean County, so I totally understand. But it's not just this, right? So, on top of the family obligations, then you have to come here to the academy, and you have yeah. to get through the academy. So it, it's demanding, right? Would you say it's demanding? Yeah. And it's been what four months. Yeah. It's a long time, right? It's a long time. So, look, look forward to graduation? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right? Yeah, good. So, any last thoughts? Anybody want to offer anything? If, if, there's a, if there's a firefighter watching right now, right? And they're watching our program, like, I don't know, I'm on the fence. I don't know if I really want to do this. What, what advice would you give them? Just try it. Yeah. Do it. I would do just it. Do you it. never know until you try. Yeah. Right. If you don't yeah. think you can do it, you can do it. That's even if more you put in the effort. And you always have your people at your fire station to tell, talk to you and help you out too, which is a big help. That, that's huge. And I appreciate your time. I appreciate uh, the Academy allowing us to talk to you for a short time. We, had, we tried to do this a few times and the smoke was either too, too much or not enough. Or, so hopefully we're getting a little bit of smoke ambiance to make the show a little, a little spicier. <laughs> I don't know if it worked or not, but we'll see. Ray, is, is it working? He's, he's nodding yes, so I think we're good. We got the green light. Uh, once again, Pin the Q podcast here at Ocean County at the Fireground Training Center, Spring Class 2019. Be sure to check out these girls in action soon at a firehouse near you. Jay Soderfeld, who is a past chief and also works here at the academy as an instructor. Jay, welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course, man. And and for anybody who's watching us that knows, Jay and I know each other very, very well. Uh, been brothers for a long, long time, and uh, it, it's an it's a good opportunity for me to come here and actually see you get to do this. You know, so uh, I appreciate it. It's been a long time. Yes, it has. <laughs> it's yes, been everybody's a long time. busy now. <laughs> everybody's busy. It's true. So, Chief, run me through uh, what's going on here today at the Academy. Okay, uh, on this scenario right here, what we're doing, we're, we're uh, practicing their search and rescue skills, okay? They're going to be graded on it, um, communication, how they properly search, um, looking for victims and everything else like that. 
uh, on the uh, smoke building, what they're doing over there, they're going over ladder raises, um, single story raise, uh, two, uh, two fly raises, um, the parts of the ladder. Um, the other uh, evolution, they're going over nozzles, right, hose nozzle streams, yep. uh, hooking up a pumper to, from a water supply, okay? And inside, they're going over one of the most important pieces of equipment is the SCBA, the proper parts, identifying the parts, how to inspect them, to put them back in ready service. So, and that's what they're being graded on this today. And today is actually testing day. It's a testing day for them. So the pressure's on a little bit um, with these recruits. What kind of progress have you seen so far? I've seen a lot of progress. Um, from the first day in January when they came, they were very shy, not asking a lot of questions. And it, it evolves right. as they get to know everybody, um, asking questions, you know, working together as a team because Every Saturday they come out, they're not working with the same group of people. Right. They're working with different people, as you know when you went through, and Absolutely. I went through the fire academy. Right, right. You're working with different people, so you just got to kind of work together. We just didn't have this cool facility when we went through. No, we didn't. Right. We used no, to go, we didn't. Like, you know, if you watch any of my episodes, you know that we used to go firehouse to firehouse, and uh, it was always somewhere new to go and, and all that. So it's good that they have this. They, yes. You know, they're lucky to have what they have here. Yes. What, what are some of the challenges that you see some of these recruits have uh, as they progress through the academy? I think the biggest challenge, Frank, is they finally realize this is blue-collar work. This is, you know, a maybe it lights a bulb in their head saying, we've got to start getting in shape now. Right, Because right. this is blue-collar work. You know, whether it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon or 3 o'clock in the morning, they possibly couldn't be going to work, and they're going into a nasty environment. Absolutely. So yeah, they've got to have the point. right mindset. Yeah, they have to have that right, uh, right mindset. What, what have you seen different? from like when we were in the academy, right, to what you're seeing now? I mean, how, how different is it? Because the skills are almost the same, right? Wouldn't you say it's it's generally the same? Yeah, the th you, got to, you still have your basic skills. Right. Um, you think there's more pressure on them now than we have? I think there is because when we went through, I think I had to go through at 140. I think you went through at 140. Now they're up to 180 hours okay. and some other stuff, you know. And I think that puts a lot of pressure on them. And, they're younger, they're working jobs, some are still in high school working, you know, going to high school. So I think it's a, a little bit of pressure. Yeah. It, but we it, try to ease that. Right, right. So are you guys more of mentors now, than would you say? Or is it still we like... We try that? to be. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we're not the hardcore instructors because what it is, it's not... And not putting the police academy down. We don't want them to quit because that hurts the volunteer fire department that they wanted to join because we're all, everybody's looking for members. You right. know that. Yep. We all need yep. members and when the youth comes in, that's a great thing. So yes, you're right. We try to mentor them. If they have problems with say ladders or claustrophobia with the SCBA, we'll work them on the side right. and work with them to try to have them overcome that. That's good. So, That's good. Well, Chief, I appreciate it. You know, you're able to give me an inside hand, you know, seeing what's going on here and uh it was nice that we were able to actually work with the recruits today and kind of see what they're doing and soon we're going to be talking to them so i'm interested to see what they say because we've never really done that before i mean as a whole i don't think we've done that you know no. kind of getting their perspective so it should be interesting yeah. to see what they have to say too i thanks, appreciate you having me thanks again Chief. thank you very right, much take care. back at Ocean County Fire Academy and this time we're going to speak to two more recruits. Uh, again, this is the spring class 2019 here at the Fire Academy in Ocean County. Guys, welcome to Pin the Q podcast. Yeah. All right, it's good stuff, right? So, you're here at the academy, uh, we spoke we spoke to the uh, other firefighters and we're about 4 months into this, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So, when you first came here, 
tell me what it was like for you when you actually first got here. Before we even do that, man, tell me wh who you are and where you're from. All right, uh, my name is Rob Gleb, and I'm from Stafford Township Volunteer Fire Department. Is your first time ever being a firefighter? Yes, it is. All right, and what about you, man? Where are you from? My name is Bobby Stack, and I'm from uh, Eagleswood Volunteer Firehouse. All right, cool. And I also work for New Jersey State Forest Fire Service. Okay, good, good deal. Yep. So before you were a firefighter, what, what were you doing in your life, man? Uh, well, I'm still, uh, I'm an aircraft mechanic, and uh, I run all the shop for all the news helicopters. Oh, great, man. Awesome. So uh, that obviously prepared you mentally, I would say, for, for what you're doing now, wouldn't it? Oh, you it, de say? it definitely helps right, So you out. had some discipline behind you, which actually helps you out. What about you, man? What were you doing before you became a firefighter? Uh, before I became a firefighter, I was working the shop at, uh, at New Lisbon. Okay, right at the Forest Fire? Yeah, correct. What were you doing there? Uh, building trucks, the brush trucks you see all rolling around, yeah, yeah, maintaining good. them and everything. Keeping them painted and all yeah, and ready. Finally got hired as a towerman, forest oh, fire observer. Congratulations. Yeah. So, th again, this is in your blood, too, then, Correct. already. Yeah. Coming family. In. And, yep. That's good. Do you have any family that's firefighters? No, I do not. You're the first generation? Yes, sir. Ah, good for you. What about you? Obviously, you do. Yeah, my grandfather and my uncle. Both still active? No. Okay. Nope. So, you're, you're the only active firefighter in your Correct. family right now? Correct. Awesome. So, you have to live, live on that legacy. Yeah. So, yep. you got a little bit of pressure on. on you, right? <laughs> yeah. That's good. So, walk me through the first couple days here at the Academy for you. What were you thinking? Oh, the first couple of days, I was—I gotta say—I was, you know, really nervous, and uh, you don't know what to expect. I mean, you know, you're gonna be going into these live fire situations, and and uh, you know, you're gonna be doing like rescuing. You're, people are depending on you for the life, so you kind of just nervous. I see what you're gonna learn, how it's gonna be, what kind of physical shape you're gonna be in, and did you feel like you were prepared coming into the academy? Uh, partially, partially. I felt like I was going to have uh, some uh, physical issues, like being uh, fit and right, uh, right. cardio and all that stuff. Because it's very it. demanding. Yeah, it's very demanding. Very demanding. And <laughs> yeah. you, you learn that very, very quick coming oh, into this, yeah. right? So what about you, man? What, uh, what were you thinking when you first got here? Were you ready yeah, for this? At first, I thought it was just going to be like every other ordinary school, but it's more than just a school. It's training for the future and to keep saving your life and saving other people's lives. Talk to me about the bond you have with your classmates here at the academy. I mean, at first, it's just like entering a school. Everyone's quiet and shy in the beginning. But then as the class gets on, everyone starts to begin to trust each other. It's almost like a brotherhood. Uh, it is a brotherhood. Yep. It's, mm -hmm. it's definitely not like it is a brotherhood. Mm -hmm. And you're part of that. Yep. Um, even here at the academy before you graduate. And I, I have no doubt in speaking to the instructors that you will graduate um, based upon your performance and how everyone's doing here, which is really good to hear. I mm -hmm. mean, because that's not always the case. And I don't sugarcoat anything. If it's yeah. not doing well, I'll tell you you're not doing well. But you are. You're doing well, which is good. So when you are this far in, four months in, what are you thinking at this point? Are you like, you're ready to go to work? You want to go back to the firehouse? Or are you really enjoying what you're doing right now? Yeah, you're always eager to go to work. You want to work. Right. You yeah. feel prepared all the time. What about you? Yeah, I, I enjoy it. I, I definitely look forward to uh, being able to help the, you know, the team. Again, just being there to do whatever it takes to make make things happen safely and see everybody mix. And we, and we talk about the brotherhood, but you know, the brotherhood, you're not truly accepted from the brotherhood until the brothers at the firehouse and her sisters at the firehouse yeah, say you yeah. are, right? So you have to earn that that little bit of respect that, that we all expect when you first start somewhere. Is this, uh, would you do it all over again if you had to tomorrow? If they called you back and said, hey, you got to start over, would you do it over again? In a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's good to hear. That's really good to hear, man. I mean, uh, what has the academy done for you on a personal level since you've been here? Has it changed anything about you? Uh, d it definitely teaches you some uh, more discipline and uh, just showing you how you have to you have to become part of a team right. and that form that brotherhood, sisterhood, uh, just to, again, make sure everybody makes it out safely. And yeah, a lot of responsibility, mm -hmm. you know, yes. not just yourself, but you're worrying about everyone else too. Mm -hmm. What, what do you look to see? What's your future look like for you when you get out of here? What are you, looking, what, what are you most excited about to do when you're back at your company? Continue the community role, playing a part, saving people's lives. Uh, keep, the, keep it going because a lot nowadays, not a lot of people are volunteering anymore. Right. Volunteers it is down. It's yep. down. Right. That's, that's good. The, that's the heartbeat of the town. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I mean. and, and the bonds and relationships you're going to make with your community are, Correct, are, yeah. are priceless. You really can't, you know, you can't put a price on that. That's, that's mm. huge stuff. Well, guys, listen, I appreciate you talking to me uh, about your experience here at the Fire Academy. It was an honor to talk to you. I'm looking forward yep. to seeing you guys graduate. And be, be sure to subscribe to Pin the Q Podcast so we can see you guys' faces on there. Yep. Right? All right. <laughs> All right, here we are again, the spring class 2019 at, 
at the Osh County Fire Academy. <laughs>